Teen Out Wars Musket Review, Toy Gun Review, Replica Review. Now, keep in mind, I myself am not a historian. I am just a lover of muskets and musket facts and all things muskets. And I like firearms and things like that too. But um, yeah, keeping that in mind, I have a firearm here today from replicaweaponry.com, which is where I bought this piece. It is a Denix, I believe 17th, maybe 18th century musket replica pistol. I haven't checked it out in a bit, but I have it here unopened. So it could not even be the thing I'm thinking it is, but I think it likely is. We'll check it out now and I'll just showcase it for you. I'm gonna do an unboxing here. And just show you what it's all about and what we got. Now this is a unique musket because this is a left-handed musket. Yeah, right? You didn't know that, huh? Me either, for a bit. So, when it comes to muskets, the flitlock can be either on the right or the left. Unlike a revolver, like a cowboy pistol, where it's just in the middle. So it would be a little annoying to like have to move your hand that way. But this one's left-handed, for left-handed people. I'm not left-handed. It's for a buddy. Who is left-handed? So, we'll check this out now. There's other things in here, right? I did buy a uh, display to hang it on and some little uh, segments to like hold it up to hang it on. And then I also have a, a holder on the table for the gun. We'll check them all out now. Got my trusty knife here. I think we're ready to go. Let's see what we have here. Well. This is the wall display to hang it on. Go ahead and move it down here <clears throat> and show you these things one at a time. Wall display. How are you going to hang on the wall, you say? There's little things that go in it. I got them here. This is the packaging it came with. hang it on the wall. Now, uh, forgive me if I mispronounce this. This is the French Fleur de Lis or Fleur de Lay, something like that. That's what we have here. And to be quite freaking honest with you, I don't know how to hang it up exactly. I've never done this kind of thing. But it should be pretty easy. But those will go in there. All right. Sorry about that. I thought this might happen. That was my cat. That was my cat. We're all good. Don't worry. I'm just gonna, just gonna move this guy. Hello. 
All right, guys. Back to the review. Back to the part we've all been waiting for. The musket itself. Just kidding. I forgot we have the stand for the musket. And then, by all God almighty, we will look at the musket and tell you what. Okay, I'm really sorry. The cat, the cat is going crazy. I'm coming back. I'm gonna fix this. I'm sure that'll be the last time. This is what it will sit on. Do that. Just like that. I'm so sorry that that was the cat. Anyway, you know, it'll look, it'll sit on this. Can't sit so well on here, but. Let's go like that. Shit, no. I'm retard. I mean, I'm not smart. I mean, yes, I am. It'll go like this. This is a lot more stable. It's like this. We'll sit on there. I'm going to adjust the camera. And then we are truly getting onto the part you've all been waiting for. The Denix left-handed musket. <clears throat> Here we freaking go, baby. Here we freaking go. <gasps> oh, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> we'll grab it with my left hand. Would you look at that? Oh dear lord. Now this is what I call gorgeous. Here we have a freaking left-handed musket. If I was to hold it this way, not so easy to hit the flint, to hit the flint lock. Left-handed, that's what it's for. It's still not the easiest thing in the world. Okay. Holy crap. Okay. This, this is it. We'll bring it closer for you guys. Sorry if the lighting is not amazing. This is the first time I'm doing this. I'll do a better job next time. Okay, so let's go over this baby. All right, let's go over this baby. So here we have the Denix 18th, maybe 17th century musket. And how one of these babies works, right? You get some powder, you pour it into this bitch right here that's the the bore that's the that's the hole that's, anyway you pour it into there and then you get like a little patch a wadding of like some kind of paper thingy you put it on there and you put the musket ball on top of that and then kind of get that sit in there a little bit and you get a ram ramming rod this one doesn't come out the ramming rod is this thing on the bottom here right pull it out and you fucking hammer that baby home so hard all day long until it's seated and if it's not seated 
where it's sitting right on top of that powder in the patch, it will explode the barrel possibly. You don't want that, obviously. Hey, you're cute as hell. Anyway, so what we have after you put the ball and all that powder in there and rammed it home is the best part. You have the flint lock mechanism here. I accidentally cocked it back all the way to fire it on accident. Show you what it really supposed to do. Half cocked right there. And then this is called the frizzin. And this is the pan. You put some powder into the pan here. And then the frizzin closes over it. So you keep the powder safe, right? And now you're at half cock. And you're almost ready to fire. Pull it back one more. You're at full cock. And now you're ready to fire. This is a replica, so don't worry if I shoot at you guys. I don't know how this is supposed to be left handed. This is so hard. You can't reach with a thumb and do this very easily. I feel like it's still easier with my right hand being right here. The trigger keeps catching my hand, it's not a good idea on my finger. Anyway, look at this mechanism. You got prison, half cock on the footlock mechanism. Here you have the pan, hold the powder, close prison so you don't lose it. All the way cock, fire. And that is how you do a musket. Thanks for joining me, guys. Like and subscribe if you like. My name is Peanut Wars. You're with Musket Facts for you.